detectives began interviewing the family. Worried he would take them and run, Doris let them stay in one of her homes as she worked with police without the family knowing. And on September 21st, police surrounded the home, but dad wasn't there. Uh, they asked me if I knew where he was, and I said, well, he's at his other house. He said he was coming back. Uh, and so I called him and I said, hey, you know, the police are at the house. He's like, did they see the kids? What was the feeling inside of your house? I was shot because my dad took forever to come. The adult kids were left alone with their secret siblings, waiting for their dad to face up to the crime. I'm in a, amazed, at the same time amazed and shocked that I'm looking at this entire family I've never seen before. I've seen bits and pieces, and the condition that the little ones were in, I never imagined. Court documents reveal the kids had poor hygiene, foul odor, lack of dental care, and were sleeping on one heavily soiled mattress on the floor. Investigators say two of the children were nonverbal. After three hours, Dad finally showed up. I, I stood there on the porch. I didn't get to see his face up front, but I saw him from the porch. That was one of the most satisfying days probably in my life, to watch him go get in the police car. All right, take a seat for me. Both mom and dad were arrested. The father's charged with three counts of sexual abuse of a child, five counts of child neglect, and three counts of child abuse. His wife is charged with multiple charges for enabling neglect and sexual abuse. Both see her also as a victim. Do you see that too? Now, yes. You don't think she should be arrested? No. Court documents reveal a child told forensic investigators her dad had touched her privacy because he was a doctor. Now, I never thought that dad would touch us or say anything sexual to us, so I never worried about it. How, how did you watch that? How did you hold your daughter's hand while she's having a baby by your husband? I can't hate him because he is a strong boy. I could only forgive them. I could only forgive my dad. And I could have needed the rest of it into God's hands. Today, the adult kids still live in Doris's home and work for her. They're now enrolled in school. I'm doing bad on my reading, so I read a book yesterday. Have their first IDs, are learning how to drive, and working to get their sister's children back to her from state custody. You have a 26-year-old that can't read, can't write. How does she teach her kids that can't read or write how to write? Now, looking back, do you feel grateful that Doris intervened? Yes, because she was helping us out. It's just hard because I was the one that did it, but I'm also the one that, that's taking care of it. Now, Doris hopes the community can wrap around this family and lift them up as they navigate life for the very first time. So I'm hoping that um, that if there's anybody that wants to help, that it's a genuine help. I mean, they've already been lied to and hurt their entire lives. So I'm hoping that their journey in this world and the people that run into them would remember that.